Welcome to the channel where we make statistics simple and easy. So today we are going to learn about simple linear regression in SPSS. When we talk about simple linear regression, this is where we have two variables, the dependent and the independent variable. In our case, y here is the dependent variable and x1 is the independent variable. So you go to analyze, go to regression. So when you are in regression, of course, we have uh, all these tools, but we are interested in the linear regression. So you click linear regression. These variables, here they are. So we said our dependent variable is y. So you click y and push it here to the dependent side. Then you click x1 and put it to the independent side. And that's all. So what you do, and then you just click OK. So when you click OK here, we get our results. And the first thing that we are so interested in is the model summary. So this model summary, we have R, which is the correlation. We have the R squared, and then we have the adjusted R squared. So R squared is very important because it tells us the amount of variation that is explained by the independent variable. So in our case, it is 0 0.951. So that means 95% of the variation in Y is explained by the independent variable, which is X1. So we go to ANOVA. One of we are interested with these two columns, that is the F and the significance. So this sig is the p-value. So the p-value is 0, 0.00 uh, all the way to, we don't know how, how many zeros. So that tells you, but our, let's say our, our significance level is 0 0.5. So definitely this is lower than the significance level. So it tells you that our model is adequate in explaining the variation in Y. So we go to the coefficient whereby we now explain the coefficient where we can say that y is equals to something. So that the constant here or the intercept is 10.458. So that tells you with all factors uh, at constant, that means that we don't have x1. The expected value for y is 10.58. What about when we have x1? So x1, it is 0. The 0, 0.038, that is the, the coefficient. So it tells you for a unit increase in x1, it increases our y by 0 0.038. So, and of course, both of them are significant here. So that tells you that our model is significant and also our coefficients are significant. Thank you. And remember to subscribe and like the video. Thank you.